Hey, so before we even start, if you know who Ryan George is doing his pitch meetings, this is clearly a huge ripoff of the great stuff that he does over at Screen Rant. So before you start putting comments about how he's stealing all that, yeah, no, I know. That's what I wanted to do. Hopefully you enjoy it. Here we go. Pew, pew, pew. Hey, welcome to the dojo. You ready to try some Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? I'm really excited. And you should be. Yeah. So, were you interested in gi or no gi? What? Gi or no gi? Are those words? Yes, they are words. The gi is the Jiu Jitsu uniform. We have classes where we wear it and we have classes where we don't. But we don't have to wear it. Nope. But it's a uniform. Yes. So, were you interested in gi or no gi? I'm not sure. Explain this gi. Where is it from? Well, thank you for asking. Oh, no. The name gi actually goes back to the term judo gi. Oh, yay. We're doing judo? No. <clears throat> the founder of judo was a Japanese jiu-jitsu practitioner named Kano. The art of jiu-jitsu should be a way of life, so I am creating judo. That sounds so nice. We aren't doing that. We're doing jiu-jitsu. So one of Kano's students came to America and traveled around accepting challenge matches wherever he could find them. His name was Maeda. Ooh, that sounds cool. Kano did not find it cool. I don't find this cool. You can't call it judo. Fine, I won't call it judo. I'll call it jujitsu instead. Maeda beat up every last person in North America and so traveled to South America where he was introduced to the Gracie brothers in Brazil. He taught these brothers his version of jiu-jitsu. Later, Helio Gracie, the youngest brother, became considered the patriarch of Brazilian jiu-jitsu. So we wear the gi because it came from judo. And they wore it in judo because it was the style of the time. Mm-hmm. So we are basically doing 19th century Japanese cosplay. It's not cosplay. No, that's cool, cosplay's fine. It's not cosplay. So I can't show up dressed like Batman? Um, no, that's no gi. Batman isn't the one with... The art itself is different if you're wearing a gi or not. Explain how. Well, there are a number of techniques that you can do if your partner is wearing a gi. Yeah? Like strangles using the collar. Wait, strangles? Isn't this the martial art with the music and the cartwheels? That's capoeira. They're both Brazilian though, right? A lot of things are Brazilian. Where did you get that? Oh, this? This is acai. When you're a black belt, it just kind of appears. Oh, son of a... Can I have some? Some what? Um, so, uh, strangling, huh? That's right. There's a number of things you can do with the gi that you can't do in no gi. So it's more complicated in no gi. Not necessarily. Due to the grips and therefore having more control over your partner, Gi Jiu-Jitsu is sometimes considered easier for beginners. Easier to get strangled, for sure. Okay, so I guess I should start with Gi then. Well, it depends actually. Since the Gi is slower and there are more submissions, and even the friction of the uniform itself makes offense a bit easier. That means the more Gi you do, the better your defense gets. And no Gi? Without the jacket to use for submissions, without the semi-permanent grips that we have to control our partner, and you know, the kind of general dampness. Dampness? Nogi is damn. I see. You think you do, but you don't. So with all that, it is a bit easier to escape in Nogi. Therefore, the more you do that, the better your offense gets. I see. Well, I guess a good amount of both would be best. Cool. Oh, hey, one last thing. What's this I hear about leg locks? Like there's some kinds of attacks that you're not even allowed to do in the gi? Oh yeah, no big deal. It's just once you put on a gi, you kind of feel like you're allowed to use your feet to do anything you want, but if your opponents touch them, they're a dirty, dirty cheater. Huh, well I can't imagine that they're too potent then. Oh no, they are by far the most devastating submissions. Hmm, I guess people in the gi should start learning them too. Yeah, they should. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you guys found it funny and enjoyable, maybe even a little bit educational. If you can, please subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, share it, hit the enable notifications. 
do all YouTube things. They're all over here, whatever. I don't know where they're showing up. So yes, thank you very much. Hopefully I'll see you on the mat someday or at least through the internet. Bye.